Hospira announced today that it is discontinuing the production of sodium thiopental, a drug used for death penalty lethal injection. Shortage of drug used for lethal injection for now has kept an Oklahoma man from being put to death. Jeffrey David Matthews, which revealed Texas prison officials chose a replacement execution drug without consulting a medical professional. There are no medical staff that are involved with the actual execution process because it does go against their oath. The Hippocratic Oath is the bedrock of Western medicine and it should apply as much to the makers of medicine as to those who administer it. Pharmaceutical um, companies should be in the business of saving lives. And I imagine that most people who work for pharmaceutical companies think that's what they're doing. It's difficult to imagine a, a worse perversion than a medicine being used to kill somebody. The use of drugs for reasons other than those for which they're intended, which is about alleviating human suffering, is something that doctors are increasingly um, concerned about. This is a, a worldwide issue. The United States, let's be very clear, the reason they don't use their own drugs by and large is purely an economic one that they don't want their very expensive patented drugs to be used to execute people because it's bad for business. They would find a middleman who was willing to provide them with sodium thiopental, acquire the drugs, not tell the manufacturer the use to which these drugs were to be put, take the drugs over to the US and intend to use them in executions. Now, the danger of that, it cannot be overstated. Done as a a business secretary of this government. One of the things I, I am proud of having done was that I introduced a stop on the export of the liquids that are used in the injection of people in the United States. I think the government's been, um, its response has been very appropriate in this area. It's added other substances, other pharmaceuticals to the list. Um, and it's important that the list is kept under review uh, because it's, it's clear that as they experience difficulty in obtaining drugs uh, in the United States, these um, prisons, they'll look to use other drugs. The documents also show officials relied on news articles to help them choose a sedative for the state's three-drug lethal injection cocktail that's intended to prevent pain, inhibit muscle movement, and stop the inmate's heart. Now, instead of the drug sodium thiopental, Texas will use a substitute drug called pentobarbital, a surgical sedative often used to euthanize animals. Pentobarbital was manufactured by a company called Lundbeck. Lundbeck was the first signatory to the Pharmaceutical Hippocratic Oath and I think that's very important because they have taken unprecedented steps to make good their desire for their products to be used to help people to improve and save lives and their desire not to have their products abused in executions. Corporate social responsibility has moved right up the agenda for every organisation now. It's absolutely at the heart of what both the head of the organisation, CEOs are thinking about, but also now big teams within companies, and that's a shift that's happened very quickly in the last five to ten years. This is very bad business for pharmaceutical companies. We've seen in the past shareholders divest from pharmaceutical companies because they are so appalled by the use of these medicines in executions. The pharmaceutical Hippocratic Oath is really just designed to say what I think almost all pharmaceutical companies believe already. You look at their websites, it says we're here to make lives better, not to take lives. A U.S. death row inmate has been executed by a lethal injection in the state of Georgia. The jury only took a few hours to decide he was guilty of murdering a police officer in Savannah, Georgia. A few more hours to decide on lethal injection. There was no DNA or physical evidence against Davis. The primary... An absolutely fundamental problem with the death penalty in the United States is that it's clearly discriminatory. If a penalty like the death penalty is discriminatory, then it becomes arbitrary. And it's difficult to imagine something worse than the uh, arbitrary application of judicial killing. Uh, the tide has definitely changed in the United States and while I'm not here to lecture the American people, I'm not here to tell them what they have to do, it is clear that executing is on the way out. And to call lethal injection humane is I think to misuse the word humane in a very serious manner. Now is the time for ethical pharmaceutical companies to make a stand. Medicine should be used to save lives, not end lives in executions. Sign up to the Pharmaceutical Hippocratic Oath. It's not right, and to speak out and let their voice be heard. My situation is a situation that should have never happened.
But together, if we pull together as a people, I'll be coming home. And when I come home, we can bring more brothers and sisters out, bring them home, gather together. And as one people, we can make a change in this wicked world.